This wire ring is so easy and fast to make. So go ahead and prepare your tools. What we need, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, flush cutter or wire cutter, and also a wire of 18 gauge, ring mandrel, and a metal hammer, and also the metal surface. First step is to determine the length that we need to make the wire ring. So we need to know about the length all around our finger. I use a paper tape, wrap it all around my finger and where the start and ending point overlap, unwrap it again and this would be one time length all around my finger. Make the wire straight, put it on the length you had determined and this is one time, two time and leave about two centimeters for a curve part and two centimeters for the wrapping parts. Then cut it out with flush cutter. This is the whole length. Make the start and ending point of this wire close to each other and this would be something like a teardrop. And here we need to make something like a circle. You could use a pen or pencil with the diameter of about 9 millimeters and put it at the midpoint then to squeeze this structure. It would be something like a tie. Squeeze it well to be formed completely. Now we have another teardrop just at the middle part of this wire. Now put your chain nose pliers somewhere near to the point the wire crisscrosses and do the same at the other side in front of the first bent part put your chain nose pliers and make another form these parts with your fingers and make them all straight as it is a soft wire you could do that partially with your fingers or use your chain nose pliers or even to use a plastic hammer or a nylon mallet now the overall shape is made. The teardrop and two straight lines attached to it. Pick up your metal hammer, put the piece on and start hammering the teardrop shape. Do that more intensive than you see in the video because I'm doing that on the table. Repeat that for the whole length of this teardrop. That would be something like this, a flattened and hammered part that we are going to make it rounded by putting it on the ring mandrel. But before, I think it's better to milden the angle here and to make it a little straight with chain nose pliers. I believe this would be a better design, but you could keep the previous shape. Now this is the time for putting it on the ring mandrel and at the point we determined as the ring size and we could find it out by wrapping the paper tape all around the ring mandrel and where start and ending point meet each other that would be the best place to wrap your ring all around. So put the wire structure on this marked area and wrap it all around completely so that you would have one round. Make the left side a little close and for the other side you could see we have extra parts. What we are going to do with them, I'm going to tell you now. Pick up your round nose pliers and make one of them 
curved just like this by placing brown nose pliers at the ending point and start rotating it and insert it into the teardrop shape. I'm doing it gradually and keep rotating the wire all around with round nose pliers. Okay, to squeeze it more and to attach it tightly all around the main core, I'm using chain nose pliers and squeeze it little by little in all directions. This is the first round. I wrapped the wire all around and I'm continuing that for the second round. Again, the first curve and squeezing it with chain nose pliers. And I'm doing that till it attaches tight. And also the ending point so that there wouldn't be any sharp edges left. Repeat the same for the other side. So again, I'm picking round nose pliers make the first curve and insert it in. I pull it at the other side and make something like a loose loop all around. And this is the time to squeeze it with chain nose pliers. But before, check out both rings to be at the same size and then continue squeezing it. Well, this is the time to squeeze it with chain nose pliers and rotate it simultaneously to be wrapped all around. This is how we wrap a thick wire and do the same for the ending point. That's almost done. I'm squeezing the ending point well so that it wouldn't be any sharp edges left. Though, this is better to use your jewelry file to make it all smooth and soft. And this is so important because it would touch your finger. Let's check it out and that's all good. Now, the final additions, if needed, Use your chain nose pliers to squeeze those wrapping parts to be closed and parallel. At the end, insert it into the ring mandrel and if needed, push it to the point that you had marked as your ring size. And that's ready, our very beautiful, easy and fast wire ring. You could decorate it with pearl, stone or beads. What's your taste? Please tell me in the comments. Also, that's a good matching for the bangle we had in the last tutorial. Hope you had enjoyed. Take care.